breaking news. Screaming sirens, towering flames at an advanced auto parts store on Reisterstown Road last night. This three alarm fire was extra tough to control due to flammable materials inside, and it landed one firefighter in the hospital. WJZ has learned he has since been released, but tonight police tell us someone started this fire on purpose. Here's an idea of what's going on at that building right now. The damage is so severe, crews are now demolishing the entire structure. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. Thanks for watching. WJZ is live right now. Kelsey Kushner was our first reporter on the scene last night. She continues to stay on top of every development of this story for you. So, Kelsey, I understand you have some new information about the accused arsonist. Denise Vick, well, we are learning from police tonight that 19 year old Elijah Morgan is now in custody for setting this fire that happened last night. Now, like you said, I was out here last night, complete different scene what we're seeing out here right now compared to last night. We're no longer seeing those massive flames, but now we're seeing what's left behind uh, from that fire. You can see fire crews are still putting out a lot of the hot spots that keep flaring up. Uh, when you think about, you know, what was inside that advanced auto parts, you've got tires, you have fuel, you have oil in there, a lot of things that are going to catch fire even as they continue to demolish this building. Now, they have crews out here on scene that are slowly chipping away at this building. They started at the back of the building where they believe that fire started um, last night. Fire crews tell me that it started around 9.30 when they arrived on scene. They said Morgan was still here and he was taken into custody due to his mental state at the time. Officers transported him to an area hospital for evaluation. He has since been charged with first degree arson and he is being held without bond tonight. So fire officials, they did say that one firefighter was trapped inside this building uh, when they first got here on scene. They tell me that part of the ceiling or a piece of the ceiling fell on him, uh, but he is expected to be okay. He was released from that hospital. Neighbors are still arriving out here. They're watching this demo happen. They're in complete shock. They tell me that although this building was recently re renovated, it's been around for quite some time. It was a staple in the community for, for years, really. Um, and they say that they really are just left in shock that this happened. But fire crews, again, out here, they're working to slowly chip away to, to demolish this building. They obviously deemed it a complete loss. Um, everything inside charred, burnt, melted. Now they're just working to of that building. They said that they plan on being out here until at least midnight, uh, maybe even into the early morning hours of tomorrow. For now, reporting live, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. Kelsey, thank you. And drone video from a WJZ viewer gives you a bird's eye view of the aftermath following that three alarm fire. You can see extreme damage to the back of the building, which is why the decision was made to demolish it. We spoke with some neighbors about what they saw and heard when the fire got started last night. Some tell WJZ it makes them upset since the shopping center was recently remodeled. I seen this big smoke, you know, in the sky, but I, I didn't know it was the auto zone. It's a shame to see them tear this down. And that's all, you know, they'll have to rebuild something from scratch. Once again, police just told us the suspect is named Elijah Morgan. He's 19 years old, still in jail. We'll have much more on this story in a live report from the scene tonight at 7. Well, 